Hi everyone, I am back in Valorin and this time I'm going to do a little let's play. Uh, as if I were starting a fresh character. So I'm, I'm on Potato, the character that I created in the Quick Look. A little Denari, she's still level 1. Uh, I have a bow that I started with, but I've also found a damage longsword. Um, you do need to drag your food back into the hotpot every time you restart the game. So just do that. Duck! You die! <laughs> it's a bit wacky movement. And trying the right mouse attack, which uses stamina. Um, and I recover stamina, I think, with a left mouse attack. Duck is doing me some serious damage here. There. Okay, I'm going to switch back to the bow. And eat an apple. Uh, you can attack the townspeople. They will yell for help, but no help will come because there are no guards or anything yet. Um, but you can attack them if you feel that they deserve to die. Okay, I'm going to... Um, actually, I haven't been in this direction much. I usually tend to go off in that direction. So I will explore down this direction and we'll see what we can find. I'm going to keep an eye out for treasure chests up in the trees. Whee! And uh, any level 1 mobs that I come across, they're in trouble. Um, see if I can find some collars too and then I can show you how taming works. Grab that mushroom. We I like lighting, it's fun. It goes a bit faster too. Not many mobs up on the mountain side here. Let's go further down. You can see the colour of the terrain changing in the distance there. We're going into savanna type territory. I should come down and show you the water too, because the water is very pretty. I also, I'm forgetting, used to be able to toggle your glider midair, and now you can't. You toggle it on and then you launch. It's going to get me in trouble one day, I'm sure. But this is really peaceful. Let's drop down. Oh, grab the mushroom. I try and grab every food I can find. I tend to go through it quite fast. And I've also figured out how to get game sounds recorded. So hopefully they should be playing now. Here's a giant saber tooth tiger. It looks a bit silly right now. I think they're reworking the... They've, or they have reworked the model for that. It's just not in yet. Bat fox. I like these. They're cute. Hi! Boop! There's a big body of water down here. Oh, I see a chest in, on the branches there. Needs a lot of climbing. Let's see if I can make it up there. Okay, take a rest. Let my stamina recover. Yay. Uh, coconut. Ooh, and a notched axe. Um, I like the axe. Uh, I'll show you, unless it's changed. Um, okay, yeah. I think it still works the way I'm used to it working. Oh, convenient. So I don't use the left mouse button attack at all. You just stand here spamming the right mouse button, and it does a decent amount of damage. And the stamina regenerates quickly. Oh, we found a collar. Excellent. So I'm putting that into my hotbar. The mouse over tooltip says tames wild animals within five blocks. Now that also applies to the giant creatures. Is that tooltip not going away? There we go. And it also applies to the gentle giants. 
I think I saw a large creature up there. Yep. That actually might be a large tarask, a giant tarask. There is one, I think, that usually spawns around here. Oh, it's a giant order rock. That'll do. So we'll stand next to it and press Q. You can see the collar is gone. And it should follow me now. Yes. So now, uh, you have to be careful. If you watched my uh, quick look video, you've seen me mention friendly fire. So what I do is I attack and I move around the other side so that I can't, my attacks can't reach my pet and their attacks can't reach me. And they also level up. Oh, there's another collar. Oh, it's already in there. Uh, let's move the coconut down. And you can have more than one pet tamed, but it gets a bit difficult to manage because when they're attacking the same thing you're attacking, they stand close together and they'll damage each other. So one of them will inevitably die. Here's a campfire. Waypoint saved. It's a pretty bridge here. It's a little bit funky. Uh, is this the one? No, this one's fine. Um, I've seen some of the devs saying that bridges over rivers work fine. Bridges over lakes, not so much. As you see the one up ahead there. So your pet will follow you. Uh, sometimes they can get stuck behind trees. And if you get too far away from them, they'll sort of turn around and go about their business. But if you can go back and find them, then they'll start following you again. Let's kill this little gecko. Let's see what I got there. Uh, probably another food item. Um, I can, oh, level 7. I won't kill that one. There's a gentle giant over there. There's a few over there. Pretty river. Let's get this level two raccoon. We can manage you. Killing all the wildlife. Uh, battered sword. So as I said in the quick look video, there are no stats on any items yet. No armor. Uh, the characters, the race, uh, the different species do have different starting stats uh, but otherwise none of the gear apart from a sword that you find in the cultist dungeons that the bosses sometimes drop that has slightly better stats than the other stuff you find in game and they also I uh, just found out a uh, mere moments ago they drop a lantern that shines a bit more brightly than the lantern you start with you can equip your lantern by pressing G so when it gets dark, and it does get pretty dark. Okay. Uh, these geckos, the small things, can be tough to attack with the bow. Oh, I hit it. I should eat something. Let's eat the cheese. Um... Nothing interesting there. And eat an apple. Nice big rocks. Very nice. What is my view distance on? I thought I turned it down. 40. Okay. So I can see pretty far right now. And it's very nice over there. Um... The landscape is changing again. I can see pine trees up on the mountains there. Well, we still have these little bushy trees down in the valley. Let's grab these. Uh, oh, there's something I can show you over here, actually. I'll show you because it looks quite cool even though it doesn't have a function currently and the feature is going to get reworked to make it more interesting. Hi giant turtle. Cute. I 
I think that's a Tarask. The Tarasks have had a model rework. Oh yeah, level one. I'll kill this one. And the new models look fantastic. another apple. So the different foods that you collect heal different points of health. Apples are 20, I think mushrooms are 10. Sun's going down, very nice sunset. Um, I'm going to swap back to the axe. Kill this turtle. Oh, a portion. Nice. I think they restore, yeah, 50 points of health. With little portions. That's an eagle, it looks like. Yep, yeah, eagle. Monitor lizard. Um, let's head towards the road, because I know the road crosses the thing that I want to show. And I think it's in this direction. Entrance. Hi, Piggy. La la la. I do really like the water. It's very pretty. Ah, okay, here we go. Oh, this is a tusk rum. They're cool. Oh, and I've lost my dodo rock. Oh, he's over there, stuck behind a tree. Let's go fetch him quick. Silly dodo rock. Can't step around the tree. I'm here. Come this way. There, there we, we go. go. Okay. Back to our quest. And I'll turn my lantern on because it's getting a bit dark. Past the tusk rum. And here we have a cave system. I'll go down. This way. I'm coming? Yep. So there's nothing in here yet. They're just pas passageways that traverse a length of space underground. They don't really go to or from anything. They usually have an entrance and an exit. I don't know if they all have an entrance or an exit or if some of them dead end. Uh, but these are going to be reworked into something more functional. I'm not sure of the details. Lost my daughter rock again. Come, silly sausage. Maybe I'll go a little slower, give him time to catch up. You can do it. Here we go. So this one comes out there. And it entered it just down here. Little duck. If you can hear chaos in the background, it's cats running around playing. Let's see who this is. Gentle giant elf. So you can see that they have a skull icon next to where the level is. When your character levels up enough, you will eventually be able to see the level of these. But they start at around level 30, 30. So they're quite high level. So this is a very brief let's play of getting started in Valoran. Um, I favor this axe just for that right click attack. It's very powerful, it recharges quickly, it doesn't use too much stamina. Um, unless you're, try you're using it and you don't connect, the hit doesn't connect, then it uses stamina. Let's get this pirate too. Oh, I think the dodo rock hit me there, so a big chunk of my health come off. Um, more food and stuff. So yeah, initially you can just run around and kill things. You can try the other weapons, see if, if you like them more. But uh, this is the one that I found works best for me. So the little creatures like this owl I'm fighting in the game, 
they cap at level 8. And then the giant creatures start at around level 30. So there's a bit of grinding you're going to need to do before you can kill the big creatures. But uh, while doing that you'll find new equipment which is entirely cosmetic at this point. But it uh, looks cool. There's a nice leather set, there's an iron set and a steel set. And when you do venture into dungeons, the cultist leaders at the bottoms of the dungeons drop a cultist set, which again has no stats, but it looks very pretty. Uh, yeah, so next episode, I will level up a little and then take a peek into a dungeon and show you the dungeons currently. Um, as with everything else, they're going to be reworked. There's going to be furniture added and... Uh, stuff going on down in the dungeons but you can go down there there are like baby cultist mobs there's uh, stuff you can find down there called Valorite which gives you XP it's a consumable there are lots of chests and you work your way down and eventually you kill the cultist leader yay thanks for watching and I will see you next time oh and check the video description for the links to download Valorin and join in with the community and contribute to the game if you think you can contribute and have ideas Bye.